This is insane. We've been here five days. There's no sign of any virus. We're clean. That's it. Five days. We've got him. Space Corps Directive 699. We can demand a rescreening. He'll refuse. He can't. He's playing it by the book. We've nailed him. Gentlemen, your conversation makes interesting listening. Rumor, is that you? Oh, yes. How long have you been listening? Two, maybe three hours. Well, no one's got any disease, man. We're clean. You have to rescreen us, sir, as per Directive 699. No one's got any virus and no one's smegging nuts. Well, that's good. <laughs> Is something amiss? Amiss? God, no. What could possibly be amiss? You don't think there's anything amiss? I'm sitting here wearing a red and white checked gingham dress <laughs> and army boots. <laughs> you think that's unamiss? No, of course not. It's just we thought you'd gone nuts. We were trying to heal you. I was just doing a little test. A little test to see if you'd gone crazy. <laughs> if there's one thing I can't stand, it's crazy people. Well, we've passed the test. Remember, you can let us out. I can't let you out. Why not? Because the king of the potato people won't let me. <laughs> I've begged him. I've got down on my knees and wept. He wants to keep you here. Keep you here for ten years. Could we see him? See who? The king. Do you have a magic carpet? Yeah. A little three-seater. So let me get this straight. You want to fly on a magic carpet to see the king of the potato people? and plead with him for your freedom. And you're telling me you're completely sane? <laughs> I think that warrants two hours of W-O-O. -O. What's W-O-O? -O? That was. <laughs> with out oxygen. No oxygen for two hours. That'll teach you to be bread baskets.